all creation for those who can see is transfigured and constantly recalls his creator who has filled us with extraordinary gifts beginning with our very own existence whenever we look at the tree we think we know it well but did we really observe it with its foliage its leaves its bark its vitalities, all the little animals that it houses, the movements caused from the wind, its daily and seasonal changes? Do we pause to watch a stream whose rapid waters shape endless sparkling waves, they chase and merge and merge without seas? Do we actually observe the sky contemplating the clouds chasing each other? merging endlessly transforming do we really admire the animals and their lives so instinctive simple rudimentary do we really observe all their faces and reactions do we pause to observe the ever hasty crowds who pass us by faces lined with worries observed in a thousand thoughts unable to live in here and now we firmly believe we know our friends and neighbors, but have we really listened? Have we really figured out the details that often overlooked? Have we guessed what seems behind the mask they show us? Do we really sense what lies beneath their inner lives beyond the purely physical appearances? This is also true about our minds. We pretend we know it but we rarely stop to observe all its innermost dynamism, many facets, the mood swings it generates, its feelings and emotions. We are, perhaps, afraid to scour the beneath of our fears, and so we are satisfied to live on the face, repeating our personal cycles of frivolous activities without a veritable awareness. Thus, many opportunities for enrichments are dispersed in the boredom that we build every day since we fail to capture the essence of our lives in its fullness. Therefore, Jesus heals the blind man who represents all of us when we are unable to see. Jesus gives us the inner lights by which we can finally understand the true meaning of our existence, which is love.